Our theme today related to guidance is listening or resisting. And we're going to look at a story involving the Apostle Paul in Acts chapter 21, verses 8 through 14. And this occurs in the book of Acts as Paul has been journeying his way back to Jerusalem where things are not going to go so pleasantly. Acts 21 at verse 8 it says, The next day we left and came to Caesarea and we went into the house of Philip the evangelist, one of the seven, and stayed with him. He had four unmarried daughters who had the gift of prophecy. While we were staying there for several days, a prophet named Agabus came down from Judea. He came to us and took Paul's belt, bound his own feet and hands with it, and said, Thus says the Holy Spirit, This is the way the Jews in Jerusalem will bind the man who owns this belt and will hand him over to the Gentiles. When we heard this, we and the people there urged him not to go to Jerusalem. Then Paul answered, What are you doing, weeping and breaking my heart? For I am ready not only to be bound, but even to die in Jerusalem for the name of the Lord Jesus. Since he would not be persuaded, we remained silent except to say, The Lord's will be done. Few things about this passage as we think about listening to or resisting God's guidance. Uh, first of all, Philip, when it says he's one of the seven, that means he's one of the seven original deacons who the apostles appointed earlier in the book of Acts to take care of making sure the Gentile, the non Jewish widows, weren't neglected in the daily distribution of food. Philip, obviously, uh, the spirit is strong in his family. He's got four daughters, none of whom are married yet, who all have the spiritual gift of prophecy, which is pretty significant. And then you have this Agabus, a prophet who comes down and does an acted out or physical prophecy. We tend to think of prophecy only in terms of words, but in the Bible, many times there's something that's physically demonstrated or connected to it. And he takes Paul's belt and literally binds himself with it to show what's going to happen to Paul when he goes to Jerusalem. Now the idea of Paul being bound and handed over to the Gentiles, many people have, don't go and they're weeping, they're crying. But Paul says, I'm ready even to die. Sometimes when we get God's guidance, it can be very, very difficult to hear. Think of Jesus in the Garden of Gethsemane. And in many ways, this is leading up to Paul's Gethsemane moment. Will he stay away from Jerusalem, stay where it's safe, or at least safer? Or will he follow through with what he believes God is calling him to do, even with other people saying, no, don't do it, don't do it? Oftentimes, other people can mean well. But what God is guiding us to do may be more difficult and yet we have to do it. I pray God will help you to hear God's voice for you this day.